Hi everybody, what is up everyone? Welcome to another episode. Yours truly, Neuro is delicious. Today, we're going to touch on the latest TU 11.1 builds for the summit for level 71 and above, hero weeks and legendary levels and above. Let's um, proceed on with the first build. So the first build is our inf most famous 4-piece Hunter's Fury. SMG shotgun build and of course uh, there's many different variations if you were to read on the bonuses of these uh, four pieces of Hunter's Fury is um, very super efficient to, for survivability at the same time also stack on uh, weapon damage as well at the same time yeah and there's uh, a little bit of CC and also there's many different variations to this build uh, depending on your type of gameplay uh, as mentioned before during live stream you can go with uh, Intimidate on your vest, you can also go with uh, the adrenaline to pair up with uh, to get the bonus armor to proc your intimidate. But um, for me personally, I have chosen obliterate, and I've also chosen a uh, clutch. Uh, it has been proven to be efficient so far up until uh, seventy one and 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 so forth and so on. Okay, the next build we are gonna uh, move on to is so please don't forget to stack your weapon damage uh, as priority first before anything else uh, if you can unless you have a special build going that you have to stack it or maybe headshot or something else or if you do not have enough a critical chance you can use a Seska piece instead all right guys so uh next also um uh, there is also this uh, spotter uh, talent uh, that uh, uh, some of our viewers has feedback to us in this channel that uh, uh, spotter talent uh, might be a better talent uh, compared to obliterate because uh, obliterate might be an additive damage and the spotter talent might be a um, uh, this a uh, multiplicative damage yeah um, and so you got to test it out uh, on your own to see which uh, talent will work best uh, for you all right guys so uh, let's move on to the next build allow me to confirm whether is it multiplicative or additive for these two talents that we just mentioned obliterate and spotter during live stream all right guys so the next build is uh we're gonna touch on is the virginian build why virginian build is a uh, uh, good i would say it's a, a good uh, build because uh, this is like on same thing we have uh, touched on this build before in our previous uh, videos uh, this build is a very it's a very weapon damage and headshot damage focus build so when you are encountering when you're encountering um uh aimo aimo harder Aimo holding, uh, aimo holder directive in the summit. You wouldn't be worried about not having enough uh, uh, am ammunition for your for your rifle. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next build. So just give you guys a fast rundown of this build is a um, is a Douglas and Harding punch drunk, a uh, chin killer, stack on crit chance, crit chance headshot. I've chosen the uh, Vigilance backpack. I found a pretty uh, god roll one. So yeah, this is a clean, this is a clean piece of uh, backpack. It has not rolled before. Uh, followed by Providence. Followed by your Fox Prayer for additional uh, damage to NPC out of cover. Yeah, we are encountering some NPCs. So give me one quick second. They just focus on the hit shot. Be very very uh, careful about the. Uh... Okay, have a good aim of the NPCs first with this build. Okay, my apologies. Okay, guys, uh, there are a couple of uh, more builds uh, for to, to showcase to everybody. But I'm um, just gonna showcase to you guys how this gameplay actually is like. So I would actually prefer to uh, reserve my my jammer pulse. My gem pawns for a uh, machine based kind of uh, direct uh, uh, challenge for each uh, summit. So, but sometimes if you see like uh, if you need to use uh, the gem pawns to just prevent the NPCs from uh, you know uh, using any skills, you can uh, you can use this uh, you can use this uh, uh, reserve the gem pawns for this as well. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There is a uh, assault drone. So they use the gem pawns to remove it. Let's kill the boss first. Okay, just uh, take, just aim the cursor. Don't do anything. Just aim the circle in the middle of the head of the NPC and just fire. And it is that simple. All right, guys, for this build. 
Okay, there is some uh, reload. Uh, they might. Oh right, there is some. Uh, I think it's a uh, special directives that uh, doesn't allow. Uh, that every time you have to do like a special reload or something. Okay, just be careful. If you to chose certain talent, you gotta be really careful with your with your survivability, yeah. Because you do not have a any sort of heals or even a revival hive, so just gotta be more careful with. Uh, if you're in a team play, of course uh, you do not have to be too careful. If you're in a team play, I mean you still have to be careful because um it's proven to be quite challenging from um, level 81 uh, onwards according to our viewers uh, feedback all right guys so we have cleared this uh, floor 71 solo okay let's move on to the next build the next build we're going to showcase today is your usual the uh, the uh, another build we showcased before the tank has a build right guys tank has a build why because according to uh, players who have already achieved um reach the uh, legendary levels there will be uh directives and challenges and npcs where you will encounter that gives you a uh, disrupt where you will be this where your uh, skills will be completely disabled from using yeah so i think it's good to stand by a 100 percent hazard protection hazard protection hazard resistance uh, uh build all right guys so uh, this is once again two piece seska and three piece 511 and one piece ya yeah. It's that simple you can stack on either crit chance crit damage but i prefer to stack on a uh, headshot so yeah and then so on and so forth if you have any questions please don't forget the feedback in the comment section below and i will try to make sure to answer either of your questions okay uh, let's move on to the next build okay so as mentioned virginian single shot builds are very important because of the directives uh aim more harder aim more harder so um i have also I am going to introduce to you guys my one of my favorite builds um, I personally love to use in PvE which is the 3 piece aces and aids to just get the bonus of the marksman rifle damage and 30% headshot damage why am I not wearing the 4 piece aces because it takes too many shots kinda to proc all 5 cards so to get your bonus so uh, instead of uh, progging this 5 cards and which takes a lot of time for maximum for just additional 30 per 30% weapon damage I have uh, chosen to wear a second piece of Woken Harris or you can also put on a Providence knee pad uh, I mean a Providence high end if you like so uh, this build is same time if you're playing if, if you have been playing this game uh, quick chance headshot stack on this build perfect hunter for any single shot building um, single shot uh, build talent single shot builds my apologies and then followed by vigilance so one piece rowdy one piece and two piece walker i have chosen all right this is my uh, preference because um damage your armor is multiplicative instead of your headshot damage it's uh, uh ad additive i i believe uh please correct me if i'm wrong okay guys uh, i just i just seem to do more dps using the mmr build all right guys okay next let's move on to the last and final build guys we are gonna showcase this build during our live stream um, it's a really unconventional build. We have to test it out when we go live later on in about a few hours. So this is a hitch. This is a uh, shotgun pistol build, which is also a shield build at the same time using the technician specialization with three piece badger turf for the bonus of the armor on kill ten percent and two pieces of system corrupt with additional fifteen percent armor on kill as well. So if you can see um this build, I have a. Uh, I have this uh, Dodge City Gunslinger holster uh, equipped on my build. Why? Because if you were to stack, if you look at the talents of this build, you can take a quick look. While your pistol is holstered, gain a stacking of 100 stack every 0.3 seconds. And uh, each stack gives you 10% damage per stack. So to say, if you are currently using your Sweet Dreams to do your melee kills and also to do your uh, shotgun on headshot, if you're using if you are lucky enough do a little bit of this uh, grinding find a piece that goes with uh, uh, that has a headhunter with it so once you get your headshot this build is supposed to be a short range single shot a uh, single shot build so we're gonna test it out when we go live later on in a few hours all right guys so once again 3p 3p badger turf 
two piece uh, system corrupt for the additional armor on kill and for the blue uh, blue attribute cores and one piece of red core which is the gun city gun dodge city gunslinger holster all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh we had a long break today i uh, decided to take a day off uh, from streaming yesterday and i really really want to look forward to all of you um those of you who have just subscribed to this channel Thank you all so much for the support and I hope you guys uh, enjoy the content so far. My, my apologies for my English. I'm still working on my um, improvisation of my language. So I will see you guys live during on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell for next video upload and going live updates. See you guys.